Australia's black summer bushfires made international headlines. The devastating impact on wildlife habitats, home and human lives were broadcasted throughout the world. But something that's not so known is the Southern Annular Mode, which has directed a number of remarkable and well-known weather events Australia has experienced. It is often simply referred to as the SAM. It influences climatic conditions across the Southern Hemisphere, particularly in Antarctica. The temperature gradient between the mid-latitudes, so near the equator, and the poles drives the southern westerly winds, which you can think of as a ring or belt of air circulating almost continuously around the Antarctic continent. The SAM is a measure of the whereabouts and strength of these westerly winds as they move north or south in response to changes in air pressure distribution. The SAM is measured as an index. It can be neutral, positive or negative. When the SAM index is positive, the belt of westerly winds strengthens and contracts towards Antarctica. Conversely, this westerly wind belt becomes weaker and moves northwards away from Antarctica during a negative phase. The effect that the SAM has on rainfall varies greatly depending on season and re region. The 2014 research study by Abraham and her colleagues found that in recent decades, there's been a trend towards the positive phase of the Southern Annular Mode. The paper noticed the brief observational records from Antarctica and went about tracking the past behaviour of the SAM using numerous proxies such as ice cores. The researchers produced a reconstruction of the annual mean changes in the SAM since AD 1000. This trend to a positive SAM is attributed to the ozone depletion, as well as increased greenhouse gas levels driving climate change. The findings of the study implies a major shift in the broad scale climate of the Southern Hemisphere. If this trend continues, it could further compromise the stability of the ice shelves over the Antarctic Peninsula. It could cause less rainfall over southern and eastern Australia, resulting in dry drought conditions and reduced water availability in those regions. Additionally, there are oceanographic implications. Stronger winds can trigger upwelling and mixing, bringing natural carbon to the surface of the ocean and making the ocean less able to suck up and store atmospheric carbon dioxide. It's projected that this positive trend will continue, suggesting increased greenhouse gas emissions will drive further glacial recession in Antarctica. The knowledge of the SAM is important in order to anticipate how it will impact Australia's weather. Understanding its behaviour and interaction with other climate drivers will allow us to make smarter climate decisions. It is only from awareness from past changes in the SAM that will enlighten us on how it impacts the environment and what we will face in the future. We should care because climate change is human induced. It is causing rising temperatures and causing our polar regions to melt. So we have a responsibility to solve this. And it starts by understanding the key driver of climate variability in the Southern Hemisphere, which, as you now know, is the Southern Annular Mode.